Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September the 21st of 2020. Well, it is titled Omega Sunrise. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of the sun rising up over the horizon and a sailboat timed very precisely to get it just in front of the sun at the moment it was rising. So had to be very well planned and a little bit of luck as well, having to have everything in the right spot at the right time. Now one of the things you notice about the sun is it doesn't look like the nice smooth disk that we're used to seeing. It's very distorted and irregular and in fact looks like the Greek letter Omega and that it's stretched out there at the bottom. Now this is all caused by the atmosphere of the Earth. So the sun itself is really an almost perfect sphere. However, when we have to look at it through the atmosphere, especially very close to the horizon, when we're looking at a lot of atmosphere, it can become distorted. And in fact, refraction of sunlight as it comes through the atmosphere will actually distort this. So what we see as that little bit that little uh, stand at the bottom of the sun is actually the part just above it that has been inverted flipped upside down as that light goes through the atmosphere. The other parts that we see as we look around the edges of the sun are all due to turbulence in the atmosphere. So the atmosphere is always quite can always be quite turbulent. But when we look at it close to the horizon, we're always looking through a lot more atmosphere. And that gives more rise for turbulence and more rise for things to be distorted. So when we look at any object near the horizon, whether it be the sun or the moon, we can see that the shape is distorted. We can also see that the coloring is distorted. And here you can see the, the sun looks rather red. Now normally when the sun is high in the sky it emits pretty much white light. But what we see here when we look close to the horizon the more atmosphere we look at the more the shorter wavelengths get scattered out by the atmosphere. So when we take light that composed of all the colors of the rainbow and we start to remove the shortest wavelengths the blues the greens the violets and so on the sun will begin to look very orange and red. And you've noticed this if you've ever watched a sunrise or a sunset, the sun will look very deep red when it's close to the horizon. And as it starts to rise a little bit, it will look a little more orange, and then yellow until it gets high enough in the sky. And that's all again an atmospheric effect. If you were to watch this happen on the moon, if you were to watch the sun rise on the moon, you would just watch the sun, same color, same shape, just rising, and it would look nothing like what you see here on Earth. And that is all because this is due to our atmosphere that distorts the light coming through it. So that was our picture of the day for September the 21st of 2020. It was titled Omega Sunrise. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be equal sun arcs. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.